Hey guys, John Jr. here, bringing you guys another IBA video, this time for round one of the playoffs, and it has been too long since I've recorded a video with this team, and let me explain before I go any further. Week 11, we did face the Calgary Infernapes and Galadai, and we had a lot of connectivity issues, and it was a super long stall game as it was, and the game kept getting disconnected, and it kept, uh, like, the timer kept getting extended when I already felt like it was going to go to timer, so he said, you know what, my Wi-Fi has been kind of wonky, and you need the double a little bit more than me, so he gave us the forfeit win, and we moved on to 7-4, and four. and the following week, I told Aaron 12 the two days that worked for me, and I reached out to him on both days and never got a response, so we take those forfeit dubs, and now we are 8-4. So that's phenomenal. That's the record I wanted to end with. I always like getting two more wins than I do losses or double the wins I do losses. So eight and four is literally the perfect record that I wanted. Moving into the playoffs though, round one, we are facing Blinn and his Canberra Cradleys. And this is very scary because he, Blinn is the person that beat us the most fair this season. Blinn and Ollie were the two people that really beat us just absolutely 100% fair. And it's going to be really scary <laughs> because his team is very difficult for us to deal with. I felt like we were definitely underprepared for it last time and we did not prep for certain things as well as we should have. I tweaked the team a little bit and I'm very, very proud of how this one turned out. Some of the things on the last team didn't make a lot of sense to me, so I did end up changing them here. But Blinn has gotten progressively better and that scares me because not the first time we played, but when I first met Blinn, he was a good player, but he was a learning, a learning player. And now Blinn has gotten to the point to where he's a very good player and it is very scary because he's been hanging out with our big group of friends and our big group of friends kind of helps each other get better and better and better and now he's really good <laughs> and that's very scary because I'm very scared to face that and we face him twice tonight uh, and we are currently 0-1 against him obviously because we had the IBA this game this game before and that was literally my favorite game we've ever played even if we lost but moving forward I don't want to lose this. I think if we win this, we can win the championship. And I'm very confident in that. We went from being 0-3 to being 8-4, guys. <laughs> we have won, we have went 8-1 in our last nine games. I just want that to be, I just want everyone to be aware of that. We can and we will win this, hopefully. But all we have to do, we have to beat Blinn first, and then we have to see who we play after that. We have to beat them, and then we're in the finals. So we can do this. We can do this. We've been here before. I don't want our season to end tonight. I really, really don't. So let's start with what Blinn's team is. So I don't believe Blinn has made any, maybe one or two transactions since the last time we played. He does have Landers T, which is going to be Z, Suicune, Kyrum, Ribambi, Rotom, Mo, Crustle, Mega Medicham, which was the kill leader on the season, which is kind of disappointing because I really feel like Mega Mawile could have got it if we played our last two games, but it's okay. Uh, Mandibuzz, Gengar, Zico, Balian, and Wigglytuff. And last time, the six that he brought were Wigglytuff, Suicune, Lando T, uh, Mega Medicham, Kyrum, and Ribambi. And I don't expect those six again. I really, really do not. I think that he is 100% going to bring Gengar to this next time because I pointed out to him how good Gengar was against us last time. But then again, he might not because I, I pointed out how good it is. So maybe he'll be like, oh, well, he's going to over prep for it again. But regardless, we have some checks to him. As far as the mods that I really think he's going to be bringing, I think Landers and Mega Medicham are stupid good against our team. Absolutely really, really good. I think Kyrie matches up really well. I think Cobalion is going to come this time, and I do think Gengar is going to come. And then, as far as the last mon goes, I have no idea what it could be. It could literally be anything. Maybe Mandibuzz, uh, but we do have, excuse me, we do have Mawai, so I don't know about that one. Rotom Mo is all right. Rabambi isn't great, but I could definitely see it coming. It all depends. It all depends on what Bloom wants to bring. And he caught me off guard last time. He had some very, very good prep, and I'm expecting even better prep this time hopefully but we will well hopefully not hopefully we just get the dub but regardless we're gonna go ahead and jump into the team our first mon here is going to be the exact same victini as last time but with different ebs will-o-wisp v create bolt strike trick room with the shooka berry i really like this victini and i really feel like this victini could have put in the finest but last time we were very very offensive we did not have very many evs in anything except max attack adamant with a little bit of speed not very much bulk this time we are a much much bulkier victini and we changed up our speed a lot because this time our team is going to be revolving around trick room 100 percent last time it was a hybrid team that i always loved to run throughout the season that was trick room plus tailwind this time that is not what we are going for at all we are going for purely trick room this time because blinn's team is very very fast compared to ours and i don't want to get in a bad position so what we're going to do is we're going to be running trick room victini with v create that's still fast so it still outspeeds things outside of uh trick room because that was our problem last time we didn't outspeed landers outside of trick room so what we are rocking with now 
is we outspeed his Lando Creeping Garboda. That is our fastest mod under Victini, and I don't know if he's even going to speed creep that. I think he speed creeps Brown. I didn't get his sets from last time, so I don't know. But uh, I really like the four moves that we had, like I said. And we can live a rock slide from Metachamp after rocks, which is phenomenal that we can do that. That's actually going to be really good. And I didn't know Metachamp got rock slide until our last matchup. And I think he told me about that. But we can go shook up just so we don't have to fear the Lando. And we can freely willow or trick room on the lander. So our game plan here is to v-create into trick room with bikini that's that's hopefully the game plan or trick room into v-create and just start claiming some ko's man because once that sweet coon goes down his fire resist does not exist it literally does not exist sweet coon goes down we claim one that's how it goes every single time i love that the only problem is gingar we don't we let gingar in for free which is very scary so i might have to end up sacking victini once gingar does come in just to not let it get a sub up because if it gets a sub up we're in a lot of trouble but we do have a hydrogen in the back that we are bringing this time that could help deal with it i don't know victini is going to be very very nice this game and claim a lot of ko's i do believe our next spawn is miss dusa mega mawile of course we're bringing miss dusa this time i do believe we have the same four moves as last time too i wanted to put pain split instead of sucker punch but i really feel like we're gonna click sucker punch over pain split i don't think we're gonna click either of them but i think if we are ever gonna click one or the other it's going to be sucker punch uh as far as our evs go his fairy resist my, my notes say his fairy resist is still gingar and then it says lol so we got him there boys but we can live a lander's eq after intimidate after one spike because i did not know he had crustle last time we can live two hp fires from the rabambi we have facade just in case we get burned 1v1ing the suicune and if we do get burned facade does so much more than play rough it does like six percent more which is actually it blows my mind we underspeed every single pokemon under trick room because of our ivs there we have Ice Punch for the Lander, so we can bop that boy under Trick Room, no issues. And we can live an Earth Power from Kyrum after a spike, and we put the remaining 52 into, to, into defense. Mega Mawai can do literally anything this game. Mega Mawai can do anything it sets its mind to, and that's why we're bringing a Trick Room team, because I didn't utilize that last time. I was like, well, Mega Mawai can be fast, Mega Mawai can be slow, why don't we go for a hybrid of both? That's not, that. that's bad. That's not what I want to do. I want to do, Mega Mawai does one thing and one thing really well, and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to focus on the fact that it is so slow, it can outspeed every Pokemon he has. And we are going to absolutely take advantage of that. And we're, we are going to try to just absolutely destroy him with Mawai. That is the entire game plan get everything in position for mawai to just click buttons and win that is that, that's what we're going for the next mon is going to be rustwing the skarmory just so we do not lose to landers essentially we have stealth rock whirlwind roost brave bird a very different set than last time last time we had tailwind as well as defog but i've noticed that our team doesn't care about hazards as much as it should victini does but that's about the only thing other than that all of our pokemon kind of just shrug off hazards so i want to get rocks up on his side of the field i feel like rocks are very very helpful for us because rocks can break sashes they also hurt the kyrum they hurt the gingar things like that so i feel like rocks on our side of the field will help pick up ko's with mawile under trick room or with victini under trick room or the heliolisk that we'll talk about in a second that we otherwise could not pick up we have whirlwind because i don't want landers setting up in our face that's the biggest thing that we can't touch landers we wall it but we can't touch it and i don't want him to set up and then just rock z and then win the game so we do have whirlwind and then we have roost for longevity brave bird because flying stab is still pretty good against blin overall and as far as our evs go we can live a metacham high jump kick after rocks we can live two ingar shadow balls after leftovers and we have a remaining 108 that we dumped into attack just because it didn't fit anywhere else which is awesome next up we have Heliolisk rocking the same four moves as last time, but this time Magnet, because I'm not really sure why I ran Choice Scarf last time. I guess I was that scared of Gengar, but we have enough speed to outspeed the creep of the creep on Lando I. We have enough defense. Let me see here. Uh, we can leave a Life Orb Sludge Wave after rocks from Gengar. And then we have, you know, Focus Blast for the Cobalion as well as the Kyrum and the Thunderbolt. It just, Electric Stab does so good against him. And then HP is for obviously Lando and Rotom Mo. And I don't care about, I, I thought about going U-turn over Volt Switch, but I realized that I don't care as much anymore because not only are we Magnet, so our Electric type moves are doing a lot more, but we also, he doesn't have a Ground type either, by the way. Well, he does a Lando, but it, it's going to drop to an HP Ice. But I can switch moves now the whole problem last time was i didn't want to lock into a move that was helios big issue last game it did phenomenal but it just had to pick a move every single time so this time we're not gonna have to pick a move every time we're gonna click we're gonna be able to click volt switch and if he goes into lando 
fine. We'll click HP Ice, or we're gonna click Volt Switch, and if he goes into Rotom Mo, fine. But if we, we click HP Ice, we can click HP Ice into the Rotom Mo, and we do so much damage. Like, there's no risk clicking buttons this time. And I love that, because I was so stressful last time. And non-Scarf Heliolus, this is going to be a breaker early game to try to prevent a lot of things from occurring very, way too early, way too early. So, Heliolus is here to break early game. Our next Mon is going to be Hydreigon, triple threat. Of course, we gotta bring the lad this time around, Choice Scarf with the four generic UU moves as always. But this time, what we can do with our Scarf, we outspeed everything with our Choice Scarf. Even, uh, let, me, let me double check, make sure we outspeed Rebombi real quick. Yep, we outspeed everything with Scarf and Dark Pulse is very, very free against him. He, the only things that really switch into that are gonna be Cobalion, which we have Fire Blast for, and he's probably not gonna bring Wigglytuff. So Dark Pulse is relatively free against his team, or uh, Draco, excuse me. And then U-Turn for Momentum is obviously gonna be nice. As far as our EVs go, we can live a Focus Blast from Gengar after Rocks. Really? Wow, that's insane. We went back, we went as much as we could modest with the remaining four in defense. And this is like, the whole thing with this mod, right? Levitate, it has Levitate. And he has Sticky Webs, sure. But our Choice Scarfer doesn't care about Sticky Webs. And I think that's what's gonna separate this game from last game. Because last time I was so worried about Webs because Heliolisk was our Scarfer, but it also Webs were very, very difficult for us to deal with. So now I'm not I'm not worried about that because we have we have Hydreigon, which is Choice Scarf. So it shouldn't be an issue there at all. Um, I might lead this. This might be a very good lead because his potential leads are gonna be like Lando and Rabami. And I wanna lead something that just absolutely punishes both of those pokemon and i might change stealth rock to defog on skarmory just to be 100 percent safe because i don't want to have to deal with that but it is what it is i'm gonna think about that i'm gonna think about that but a triple threat here hydreigon just absolutely demolishes things it breaks so much and we can really get in a position for hydreigon to just win man we really can and I, I hate that we're scarfed, but we're kind of forced into a scarf roll because if I want to bring this mod, it's got to be Chopper or Scarf because of Metacham. No evans or buts about it. There's no in-between that we can go. So I'm fine with going Scarf High Dragon in this matchup. I think it's definitely going to do better than... What mod did we bring last time in this guy's place? Gliscor. Oh, yeah, it's going to do better than Gliscor. What did score do? Get burned? Doc, doc, don't even trip. High Dragon's going to be phenomenal this game. Our last mod is going to be Sohan, the Jellicent. Trick Room, Nightshade, Scald, Recover. I think Nightshade did amazing last time, so I'm going to bring it again. This was so difficult for him to deal with. We have Leftovers with Cursed Body, Recover for Longevity, and Trick Room this time. We did not have Trick Room last time, and that was huge. That was something that I really thought weighed us down. So now Victini isn't our only Trick Room setter, so we can Trick Room into the Mawile, hopefully on a safe switch, and we can just kind of start claiming KOs. We have Scald because I want to burn the Metacham, and I want to get rid of the stinking Landers. I'm sick and tired of that land, though. We can live two Earthquakes, from the Lando with the rest in Spud Def, and that is going to be our Jellicent set. We also underspeed everything in Trick Room, and that is going to be our Jellicent set, and that is going to be the team that we're rocking with, guys. I might change Stealth Rock to Defog on Skarmory. I'm like second guessing myself now because I really don't want Victini to get whittled down by rocks, but again, I love whittling his team down for rocks, so I don't know. It just depends. We'll see what happens, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. Let me know what you guys think of the team down below, and I'll see you guys in just a second with the match. All right, guys, and we are here with a battle against Blin. I'm getting everything loaded up, and this is my first battle in a very long time, so hopefully we're going to have a lot of fun. We've got a double header here today. This is the more important one. This is the playoffs, and I'm very interested to see what Blin brings. We just actually played in call with, or we watched um, odds on Deffen as him and Kurt played because we're all a really tight friend group. So we watched them. Why is Jason FaceTime me? So we watched them as they played to see how that went. And spoiler alert, in case he does upload it, but we are going to be facing Kurt if we win this one. So we'll see what he brings here. He does not bring... He brings basically what, what I expected. So properties. He did not bring Cobalion. And instead brings Rotom Mo. Gifts. Rotom Mo, which is absolutely fine by me. Rotom Mo. And he does not bring Kyrim. And instead brings Mandibuzz. Again, absolutely fine. So he still left his uh, still left his Mawai of switching at home is what I am seeing. So Kanoko Balian instead of Rotom Mo will take this nice and slow, and no Kyrim and instead Mandibuzz. Awesome. So as far as the lead matchup goes, what can I lead to not lose to Gengar on matchup? Honestly, Hydreigon is looking very free. What was I scared of leading Hydreigon for? Well, he could lead Mandibuzz. That's something I am scared of. What is something that I'm truly scared of? I could just lead... I'm thinking Hydreigon or uh, Heliolisk are the play. Heliolisk doesn't really fear anything. The only thing is if he leads Gengar. 
which would be very scary. And if he lead, I'm, I'm thinking Heliolisk is the play. I don't really see why I wouldn't lead Heliolisk. I don't see any downsides or anything. The only issue would be if he leads Gengar, but if he leads Gengar, then the only way he kills me is a Z move. And if he busts Z move on Heliolisk, I think we're okay. Actually, Focus Blast does KO. Regular Focus Blast. But we also ran Scarf last time, so I don't know if you'd be expecting something similar. We'll see here, guys. We'll see how this one's going to pan out. I'm hoping we get a big dub. We got our teeny plush beside us, as always. This was Struggle Street. Mandibuzz. Ah, perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, we have no reason in the world not to Volt Switch here. Absolutely free. He could also go Rotom. Can we actually two-shot Rotom? Rotom Mo. Rotom Mo. Heos. HP Ice, we cannot even if he's offensive. So we're just gonna Volt Switch it. I lose nothing. I lose nothing Volt Switching. How much do I do to Manda Buzz? Manda Buzz. Um, Volt Switch is about half. He could just stay in here because we actually don't Oko with a Thunderbolt unless we're Specs or Life Orb. Actually, does, I don't even know if Life Orb Okos. And Specs doesn't Oko if he's Spadef. He might just, he very well could stay in here and like roost or something, I guess. Because this is our best check for this Mon. But we're going to Volt Switch and we're going to see what he does. Let me go ahead and write down the Mon. So he's got Mandy, Mega Medi, Rotom Mo. Okay, so what's he switching to? Chain Chomp. So Rotom Mo. Okay, that's what we expected. Gengar, Suicune, and Lando T. We got a crit, and it did that low. So he's got to be Spadef. For sure, he's got to be Spadef, right? Rotom, well. We did literally zero there. I feel... He might be max HP. He might just be max HP. So he's he's more defensive regardless. He's more defensive for sure. And I'm having issues seeing why I don't send in Victini here and click a button. And click Trick Room. Because if I go into Jellicent. I'm having a lot of issues seeing why I just don't go with Victini and click Trick Room. Or just V Cream in general, man. Because that's Chip on Sweet Coon. Sweet Coon. Yeah, that's, that's some Chip. And we have a free switch into Heliolisk. I think V Cream might just kind of be the play all around here. I could also just will o -Wisp because I, that's uh, cancels out lefties on Suicune. And that would actually be kind of nice. Because we don't toxic it with anything. But I lose I lose literally nothing by clicking the V-Create button here. Like, V-Create kind of just absolutely claps something. And he's got to be scared of the Volt Strike or the U-Turn. And regardless, I have the freest switch into Heliolisk. So I'm not too worried about this. I'm not. I'm really not. We could have also went into um. No, we couldn't have went Mawile. Trick Room might have been the play. Trick Room could have been the play. Yeah, because we could. If he's defensive, sweet room, we could take two from it and oak or into a KO with um with Bolt Strike if he's Spud off. But he might be this stuff, so that might be that might be regardless. Might not even matter. So we'll see what he does here. We'll see what he does. I think he could go Lando. Lando's an all right middle ground, I think. He withdrew. Does he go sweet room? What's in stall? Is that Suicune? Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We have Heliolisk on this every time. We're going to V-Create. We are just going to go Heliolisk. That did some not... That did... He's Fizz Def. He might be Calm Mind. How much does Heliolisk do to like a plus one Fizz Def Suicune? Oh, we're still... I don't think he'd be Calm Mind, dog. I'm gonna keep it 100. We're gonna go Helios here every time. We're gonna see what he does. Skarmory could also be the play. How much does he need? Well, we have uh, we have Sturdy on Skarmory, so no matter what, we don't lose here, because we can always whirlwind this Mon out. We can always whirlwind this Mon out. So Leftovers... Leftovers is stuff. I like the name. What's in stall? I like that. <laughs> I actually really like that. So, Bolt Strike in hindsight was obviously the play there, but I, I thought I thought Lando was a pretty good middle ground. 
That's, and I could have Willow. Willow might have been the better play all around, to be honest. Willow could have definitely been the better play all around. And now he knows I'm not very offensive. I am adamant, but I'm not a benefiting nature. So we'll see what he does. If he scalds, then so be it. But I don't think he scalds. Sub. Sub. Okay. This is fine. So he's sub probably sub protect. Would he be sub calm mind rest scald? No. There's no set that really makes me not want to click Thunderbolt here. So that's what I, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Protect. Sub protect. He can't be calm mind then, so I'm not scared of this. Sub protect. Ice beam. Unless she is Calm Mind, which, in which case, okay, the burn would have been so nice. We're just going to Thunderbolt here. Is he just going to try to keep subbing on this? I'm very confused. Toxic. Toxic. Okay. I might go Mawile now. He has no reason not to click, um, he has no reason not to click protect here. Oh my, why Huge power. We do so much damage, and if we get burned, facade always two hit KOs, which is nice. How do I deal with this? Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna Thunderbolt as, we're, I want him to think I'm choiced, right? So I'm gonna Thunderbolt as he protects, I assume. Yeah. I'm gonna Thunderbolt as he protects. And he might go. I'm gonna Volt Switch this time because I think he goes Rotom again. I think he goes Rotom again. So we're gonna Volt Switch here. Or we could also HP Ice because damage is damage. Actually, I like that. What, what, what's the worst case scenario? He subs. We go into Jellicent. No, we might have to Volt Switch here. I'm gonna HP Ice. I'm gonna I'm gonna big brain it. I'm gonna HP Ice because he goes Rotom or Yeah. Lando? Can we get a Lando? Is this is this Lando? Awesome! Awesome dude! Awesome! So sub protect toxic Suicune. We get the play right. He's Yachi. So Yachi's popped. Ooh. Yachi popped. So I don't want him to get, um, he switches out here, obviously, because he doesn't let Lando go down here for absolutely no reason. Regardless, what does he go into on the HP Ice back into Suicune? I assume that's his only play. Aki's too good in this match. What do I do here? I have Skarmory to get rid of Rock, so I don't need to worry about that too much. I can go Hydreigon for very free. How much does Hydreigon do to Suicune? I reckon it's a sweet one. That's a plus one. We're doing some good damage, actually. And we can always U-turn on it, too. I think we tried that. I dragon might be the play. Or well, we could just Thunderbolt and get some big damage. I feel like he goes Rotom, actually. I'm gonna Volt Switch, I think. I need... No, I, I literally need Helios to break... Um... Actually, I lose nothing going Victini, because we have Shuka, so in case he doesn't switch, we're okay. In case he doesn't switch, we're okay. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Okay, okay, so my thought process here. I know I'm not doing a great job of explaining. Basically, I think he's going to switch into either Suicune or Rotom Mo here, and I think Rotom Mo makes a little bit more sense, because it has a great chance to lift two HP Ices from Heliolisk. And regardless... That's that's like a, that's a phenomenal play on Blind's part because Rotom Mo is free here. It doesn't do much back. It clicks Leaf Storm, I guess, but it's pretty free. So my thought process here is I'm going Victini. The worst case scenario, he clicks Earthquake. That's fine. That's fine. We take those. We're Shuka. Uh, we can just go into Skarmory on the next turn. If he switches out, he's gonna go. He's gonna go into either Suicune or Rotom Mo. Chain Jump. Awesome. So we get that play right too. And now that I know what kind of Suicune he is, I really want to Willow to nullify his leftovers. 
I think that's my best play all around. I'm going to Willow because I because it nullifies his leftovers if he goes Suicune here, which I think he would because he takes two bolt strikes from us. Everything's fine. He could trick or he could expect a trick and he could go into like Mandibuzz or something, which I'm honestly fine with uh, with Willow here. I like Willow is a pretty zero downside play. The worst he does what foul play I guess. How much foul play probably doesn't even two shot I would assume because we're not banded. Big Teeny or Tom Mo. Mo. He switches out into Suicune again. Struggle Street. That's Mandibuzz. If I ball strike it, that was not the play, Blin. We're going to Willow. So we're going to get a little bit of um, chip on this boy. Okay. What does this do? Knock off? Okay. I got I to gotta keep some a couple things in mind. One. I need to keep Helios at least somewhat healthy because it beats the Suicune and it beats the Gengar. I could just trick room here. Nah, 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 nah. What's my Skarmory's item? I think, okay, I don't really lose anything going into Mawile, actually. He can foul play. How much does foul play do to, Ma to Mawile not, Mega? Mawile. Because he could either foul play or U-turn here. I think those are his only two plays. Foul play does like 25%. I'm going Mawile. I'm going Mawile. For sure. Mawai doesn't lose me anything. I don't know why it's lagging, guys. I'm very sorry. Mawai doesn't lose me anything, I think. Okay, so Victini switches out. The worst he does here is U-turn. Absolute worst case scenario, he U-turns. Yeah, okay. That's okay. He did, he did two, by the way. So, what are his options here? Go Suicune? If he goes Suicune, he's clicking sub. I'm not going to let him get a sub off, and I'm going to click player off. I could just click Facade. I don't lose anything clicking Facade. What else does he go? That's his only play. That is his only play. Unless he, actually, he could go Lando, I guess. But Sucker probably kills Lando. I don't know if he'd want to risk that. Let me see. Lando. Sucker. He does send out Lando. Let's see. Status, ability. Huge power. Nice one. Nah, it doesn't. Okay, so we go Skarmory here every time. Skarmory loses us nothing. If he wants to set up, we have Whirlwind. If he wants to set rocks up, we defog. What does Skarmory allow a free switch into? Rotom. Rotom allows us free switch into Hydreigon. Once we get into Hydreigon, we might just claim a KO. Actually, Hydreigon's looking dumb good. If we can get Hydreigon in a couple... We could have went Hydreigon on the Landorus, actually, dog. Triple Threat's looking dumb good right now. So he goes knockoff, that's fine. I'm glad I didn't go high dragon. Well, knockoff, it did a lot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna brave root, I think. He could Z-Rock here. Let's just switch into this. We're talking Mo. Okay, he showed knockoff. How much did brave root do to this? Z edge? We already knocked off Z. We, he's not Z. Brave Bird does like 40%. Brave Bird actually just... Hold up. Look at his team and look at Brave Bird, guys. Oh my gosh. We're clicking Brave Bird. We're getting some big damage on something. He clicks U-turn. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So. So U-turn. Knock. Presumably EQ and rocks, I would assume. Knock and rock. Good old some knock and rock action. Knock, and then I'm gonna put EQ with a question mark because there's no way you wouldn't be packing EQ on a Landers or at least Earth Power, some form of ground coverage. There's no, no reason for you not to pack ground coverage on Landers. So we're gonna click Brave Bird here. Hopefully he goes Rotom Mo. I would love it if he went Rotom Mo, dog. We do 50 to a Rotom Mo. If he's max HP, we do 38. If he goes Rotom Mo too, we get into Hydreigon for absolutely free of charge, which is what I am really liking right now. If he goes Gengar, that might drop. Gengar takes 71 from Brave Bird from Skarmory, dude. Why is Scar what What's installed? Okay, so this is Suicune. This is a tiny bit annoying. But this doesn't beat me one-on-one. -on -one. You got Toxics. What? I don't get it. We're going to Roost in the Whirlwind. I don't get it. How much does Skull do to me? 
mean? Skull. Yeah, I'm gonna roost here. He might protect here. I'm gonna roost. I don't. What do I? I don't understand. Mate. The only reason, the only way I understand this is if this was a pivot to bait the roost. I understand that. If he goes into like Rotom now. No, he clicks sub. We're gonna click roost, dog. We're gonna click roost. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna click Whirlwind on his Protect, and then as he clicks Scald the following turn, we're gonna go into Heliolisk. Is what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, dog. Cause we need we need HP on Heliolisk, right? Yeah, I'd love more HP on Heliolisk. I would love some more HP on Heliolisk. So we'll see what he does. I again, I don't know why the screen froze. There, there it goes. It, it does it. It, does, it goes whenever I talk about it, which is very frustrating, especially in a playoff game. But we'll get through it. So what's happening? Like nothing's happening right now. But regardless, he clicked Skull. Okay. Okay. He clicked Skull. No burn. No burn. And we get the whirlwind off. Awesome. Best case scenario, he goes Rotom Mo here. That's okay. That's fine. I, and I roost. Is he lefties? He's not lefties. So, it looks like it might DC us here. And I don't, I'm not entirely sure why. Nope, there it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna click roost here. I don't really lose anything by clicking roost. Yeah, I don't, I don't lose anything by clicking Roost. No, I absolutely don't lose anything by clicking Roost. What's he go for, a U-turn? Knockoff? I don't know. Foul play? Show me. Heat Wave. Oh, That's shit. cool. All right. That doesn't even two-shot me, though. Heat Wave. I'm just going to keep Roosting if that's not going to two-shot me. I'm gonna go for a miss and then a, a switch because I don't have a great switch into this. That's cool. So 171. I'm sorry, I hit my mic. 171 down to 113. 58. He did 58. And a buzz. Heat wave. And he, he was again any misses. Awesome. So he did 58 to us. So that tells me that he's no no offensive investment. No offensive investment. Okay, so I I don't know what he I don't know if he clicks. I wanna what I wanna force him to do is I wanna force him to roost. I could just go Victini so free too. I'm just gonna click Brave Bird because I want to force the roost. Oh, we withdrew. What do you go into? Chain Chomp. Dog, this does so much damage to this. This does so much damage to this, dog. I just wanted... I wanted to... What I was doing there was I wanted to force the Roost. I didn't want to risk the Mawile Heat Wave. Oh my gosh, dude! Yes! I didn't want to risk the Victini getting knocked off. I didn't want to risk him getting U-Turn Momentum. That is so much damage. And we get into Hydreigon for absolutely free of charge. Absolutely free of charge. Absolutely, dog. Give me. Give, give, give. Give, give, give. This is a good game. This is another... Blinds treat me disc time, too. Alt switch, yeah. Okay. How much you do? Going down to 161. Alt switch. So what am I... What was my base HP? 185. So 185. Down to 161. He did 24. Look how mo. 24. Um... It looks like he... I want you guys to know, the roll is if he's zero attack, it's min 21, max 24. And if he's max special attack, it is min 25, max 30. So it's not a very different roll. Okay, he went into Medicham. Can I Oko this with Draco? It's a roll not worth taking. It's a roll not worth taking because I need this mod. But what do I do? I U-turn. I guess I U-turn into, um... He withdrew. Huh? Well, we're gonna U-turn now. 
So he knows we're Scarf now. Weak armor. Okay. Weak armor. Rocky. Helmet. Okay. But now we get a Mawile for absolutely free, and we could play rough. Because this. Mandela's Heat Wave does not do as much as you would like, Blin. Yeah, that does not do as much as you would like. That does like, that does like 40. So we Mega here and we click Play Rough and I think he gives us a Pokemon. I'm gonna keep it 100 guys, I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm pretty sure he just has to give us a Pokemon here. And he might just give us this and click Heat Wave, which is fine, understandable. Which is absolutely understandable, but it, I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive we, uh, we claim one here. Stays in, so we'll see what he does. Unless this gets a move that I'm not aware of, I'm pretty sure, like, he could foul play, he could heat wave. Those would be his two best options. Or he could U-turn and sack something. He does U-turn. What's he gonna sack? I don't know if that was the play. He did literally one. <laughs> he did literally one. Awesome. Okay. So, we'll see what he goes into now. He might have, he must have been intimidated this time and not last time, I guess. Because he did two last time. But we'll see what he goes into. I don't know what he could really go into. Suicune, I guess. I clicked facade. I, I don't know. I'm very... Gengar? I... What do you... Lando. Lando, probably. I don't know. Lando, I guess. Because Lando's kind of checked by a lot of my team. U-turn knock is what it has. Lando's probably the sack piece. Just to get the Intimidate off. As much as he hates to do that, I think he has to do that. But we obviously we preserve Mawile, because once we get a Trick Room up, Doc... Oh my gosh. Huge power. What do you... Dog, I don't know about that one, homie. I'm gonna keep it 100. Where'd my ping go? Oh, hell no! Awesome! Awesome! Did we KO that? Oh, we KO'd that. Oh, we absolutely KO'd that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna play rough. He might. I'm gonna facade. Do I facade yet? Hmm. The only problem is right now facade doesn't break sub. He has to burn us. And I think he's gonna sub. So I'm gonna play rough. That sucks, man. He could scald. Give me the give me the burn. Give me the burn. Okay, we connect that time. That should drop in. Yeah, of course. But now our Mawile is at half HP, so Mawile kills Suicune with Play Rough. Okay, that should have... We should be a full HP Mawile, but you know, whatever, I guess. Miss Dusa living up to her name. Goodbye, Suicune. Perish. The scariest thing right now is if he goes Gengar. But I don't know if he wants to play 50-50 mind games with us. Chain Chomp. Rotom. We just go back into the Hydreigon every time. Every time. Or we could click play rough on his bolt switch. Let me think about this actually. No, we we literally we need Mawai as healthy as possible. That's not that's not possible. We need Mawai as healthy as possible. Absolutely need Mawai as healthy as possible. My my plan there was um what I could do is I could have taken the willow and got the facade, which of course, the one time I want to get Skull Burned, I don't get Skull Burned. But, you know, whatever. That is what it is. I'm glad we clicked Player Off. But my mindset here is... He, he loses a Pokemon to Draco at this point in the match. Because his Mudachamp has to be Max Max for Victini. And that is a 81% chance to Oko in our favor. So we'll see if he clicked Willow and like a man. Or if he clicked Volt Switch and made a really good play. If he clicked Volt Switch, absolutely great play. Reflect. That's not gonna save you, Blin. Can we 2 KO Mandalas? That's not gonna save you, dog. Sorry to tell you. We can actually click Fire Blast here. Yeah, cause Suicune's gone. We can click Fire Blast for absolutely free. That's what that's what we're gonna do. 
collect. Awesome. So, a dragon kills Rotom with Fire Blast. So High Dragon picking off a KO Doc. Triple Threat's looking really good in this late game. I don't know why he said Reflect there. I guess it was an okay play in case I suckered or something. But we have DeFi if we ever want to get rid of that. And he wasn't left the overs. I did not make a note of leftovers, so I'm going to assume Light Clay. Let me make a note of that, actually. Light Clay. King Boo. Okay. So where's Scarf? I don't want him getting behind a sub. I really don't. Fire Blast is 71. If he gets behind the sub, we might lose the game. So I'm going to click Fire Blast, I think. I can't let this thing get behind a sub. I literally, I, I legitimately cannot let this thing get behind a sub. Because this, this kind of wins. Yeah. I've got to... And we live anything this thing wants to go for unless he's... um. Unless he's Specs or unless he's Z Focus Blast. So we're just gonna go for Fire Blast here. We're gonna see what he does. Yes, we connect. Awesome. We had to do that. He goes sub. That's fine. That is fine. So sub. Now do we break the sub? I think we gotta break the sub. Or it could go Sohan. What's he do here? Z Sludge Wave? I don't know if he has a move to KO us besides Focus Blast. We're going to click Fire Blast again, dog. We're going to click Fire Blast again. I don't know if he's got a move to Oko us, but this is the reason Triple Threat's here. Yes, Triple Threat! Yes, dog! This is the reason you're here. Come on. Come on. Dodge Focus Blast. Or if he's Z Sludge Wave, then so be it. But that's okay. That's okay. Gengar kills Hydreigon Focus Blast. That's okay, Hydreigon. You did really good, dog. You did a really good, dog. He did exactly what you were supposed to do. And he's life orb. So that's that's phenomenal. Gengar dies to life orb. Awesome. Awesome, dog. So Rotom's down. Yeah. Okay, so we have Mandibuzz, Metacham, Landers. Mandibuzz, Metacham, Landers. So what I'm seeing here. Is I can go into Mawire and claim one. No. I can go into Heliolisk and literally click a button and something dies. Is Victini at full HP? Victini is indeed at full HP. So I can go I can go Heliolisk, click a button here. Heliolisk on the Metacham. Yeah, we do a lot to him. How much does he do to Skarmory with high jump kick? How much time do we have left? 30 seconds. Uh, Skarmory's on 149 HP. A high jump kick does not KO us from this range. <sighs> I'm going to go Heliolisk. Heliolisk is the safest. Heliolisk is for sure the safest. That's the, that's exactly what I did not want to see. This big guy's going to do so much damage to Heliolisk. It does half. 73, plus 12 from Toxic, does not KO. Do I think he's got Fake Out? Do I risk him having Fake Out is a better question. Skarmory, can you take a Fake Out into High Jump Kick? Absolutely not. Nah, I, I'm not going to put myself in that position. Um... I could also just go Sohan here, actually. Yeah, I don't lose anything going Sohan here. Because he either fake outs or high jump kicks. Okay, so we'll see what he does. I don't lose anything going Sohan. Probably fake outs, I would assume. Why do I have knockoff under Mega Metacham? Huh? Zin. And he missed. Okay, well... Sorry about that, but also, what? <laughs> so we click Scald here and lose nothing. Or we could click Trick Room, I guess. That definitely sucked. We, we can click Trick Room here for sure. We're going to click Trick Room. 
We're gonna click trick room. That definitely sucked. I don't think that lost in the game though, because we could have always went into Victini and we clicked a button and we claimed. Like, we just kept claiming buttons with Victini. We kept claiming Pokemon with Victini over and over. Struggle Street. Okay. So we get out into Sohan. Get his trick room off. And he got. I go. Oh, I go Mawile. Oh, I go Mawile for sure. Oh, I go Mawile for sure. Mawile claims a KO now. Mawile absolutely claims a KO now. He can Heat Wave all he wants. Mawile absolutely claims a KO at this point in the match. That Zen Miss was kind of huge. I don't think it mattered as much because I literally just went Victini, clicked Trick Room, and then kept V creating over and over and over, which is what I should have done in the first place, and that's my fault, but it is what it is. We're going to go Mawile here, and I think we just win. Roost. Yeah, okay. So now we click play rough and something dies. That's basically what this means. I would assume... Yeah, oh. Oh, yeah. We always killed this mod. He's max, max bold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're dying. You're dying. Come on, my wild. Come on, my wild. Come on. Come on. You're MVP of this season, homie. You are MVP of this season, dog. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes, dog! Mega Mawile kills Mandibuzz with Play Rough. Awesome! Now, he can still kill us. Okay, no, that's... Never mind. So, if he... The, the way he won that game is if he was Bullet Punch plus Fake Out on Medica Medicham. Which, I means I guess... We click Ice Punch here. It doesn't matter. We click Ice Punch here. The worst he does is pivot around this, but that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, we click Ice Punch. Mega Mawile kills Landorus with Ice Punch. And I, we're going to win this one for sure, guys. Ice Punch. Mega Medicham. Or Mega uh, Lando dies. Mega Mawile picks up a third. Let's make it four, but Miss Dusa, dog. Let's make it four. And you should be so much healthier, Miss Dusa, but that's okay. But that's okay because now we win the game. It's just phenomenal. That is jam. Cause, and no matter what, we got our homeboy in the back. We got Victini in the back, which mwah, I love this mod. Victini wins the game regardless. Even even Skarmory wins the game at this point. For a fact. So he goes into this. Um, let me see if I have to risk the the. Uh, I definitely have to miss the risk the miss. So you know what, Miss Dusa, you've done so good all season, dog. I'm trusting in you. In Miss Dusa, I trust, dog. In Miss Dusa, I trust. Come on. Come on. Pick up this last one. I have 30-something missed notifications on Discord just from this match alone. And Miss Dusa? And I... Oh! That's frustrating. Mega Medicham kills Mawile with high jump kick. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. We go Victini every time on this, though. We go Victini on this every time. So that's that's very frustrating, but okay. And Medicham gets one, and I think we kill this with uh, V Create. Yeah, I think we kill this with V Create. As long as he doesn't, fl if he flinches, we might lose the game actually. Fatality. No way. I mean, I guess we can go Aki and... There's no way. Okay. I got money cam. So we can go Skarmory and click Brave Bird, and I think that KOs, and I think we win. Unless he gets a crit. What is happening?
If he clicks Rock Slide here and gets a flinch, we might lose. High Jump Kick. This this does not ever kill us unless he's adamant, which he cannot be. Yes. And we, and we claim it. And we claim it. Awesome. Skarmory kills Mega Medicham. That was a max roll, too, by the way. Or close to it with Brave Bird. Oh, my gosh, dude. That should not have been that close, but it was. But I guess that makes up for this in Headbutt Miss. So, Skarmory going to go one-on-one. -on -one and Medicham dies. And Skarmory dies to Recoil. And GG to Blint. Skarmory dies to Recoil. GG to Blint. Uh, PNS or ECA wins 2 0. That should have been a 4 0, I guess. But I can't be too salty because obviously the Mega Champs in Headbutt definitely changed the pace of the game. I think we could have played around it the same way we just did, obviously, with um, with Victini and Skarmory and Heliolisk. Because I could have also met Heliolisk and Volt Switch twice and we would have been okay. But regardless, I, I was getting worked up for no reason. Miss Dusa absolutely putting in the finest, and we are moving on to face Kurt in the semifinals, which is going to be the most hyped semifinals I've ever been a part of, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Blind down below, and I'll see you guys. Wait, that's not my outro, and thank you guys so much for watching, and for now, guys, this has been John Jr. signing off.